Hi, Supertrus here, back on another Enter Dimensions New Game Minus 4 video, episode 21. And as you can see, well, I can get one galaxy point here, which is huge. This means I can get one of these upgrades. I'm not really sure which one is better. Um, these upgrades are actually based on your infinities. So I think I want. A pro I'm really not sure. I could either get. Produce faster or they're way cheaper. I think produce faster is slightly better here. So, yeah, I feel like I might. I'm not sure if I've made the absolute right decision, but it seems good enough that I'm just going to um, do that because it looks like I'm going to be able to get a dimension shift in under a minute here. So, that's all that really matters. And what I'm going to try to do again is just get another galaxy point after this. So I can, um, so I can actually get the next upgrade, which will make it even faster. So you can just see how how quick this is. Just having all dimensions um, produce that much really does help things. So I mean, right now it's it's kind of fast, but it's not all that fast right now. I'm really just trying to get galaxy points, and at this point, it still does take maybe. 20 to 30 seconds to get each dimension shift. I mean, maybe once I get a galaxy, maybe that'll be a little bit easier, but it won't be like a, a walk in the park. I mean, it, it kind of will, but it kind of won't because it won't just be some, it won't be trivial. So I still need to do this sort of grinding. I, I could try to do auto, I could try to activate my automation at this point. And maybe it's a good idea to do it, but I think it's still slightly faster at this point to buy things manually rather than um, doing it automatically because it'll also buy those useless time dimensions. So, yeah, that's that. I'm now at three dimension shifts, which means this is the run where I go for the gal not the galaxy point, the um, time dimension shift. So once I get that... I only need like E, like E15 or something antimatter to get the time dimension shift. So, yeah, seven, eight, nine, and then ten here. So there is the time dimension shift, and it reset my dimension shifts. Great, great, and it's it saved. So that means it saved my resetting of the dimension shifts. I'm actually really not sure how it did that because. I thought I remembered having, having three dimension shifts and then doing another time dimension shift. So there goes three minutes of progress. I really hate that, honestly. Like, seriously. I, what? I'm just going to look at the achievement again. Um, it is, upon a time dimension boost, your dimension boosts don't reset unless you have more time dimension boosts than your dimension boosts. That's just the strangest wording. Seriously, this I've tried. I've read this like twenty times, and I'm still don't get it. Um, because if it's not, that means if if I have three dimension, if I have equal amount of dimension shifts and time dimension shifts, that means I will not have more time dimension boosts than dimension boosts, which means that they. Um, if so, if that if this is false, then that that means like it, don't reset unless something is. <laughs> yeah, again, I just I cannot understand this, and I unfortunately have to just learn the hard way every time. It's it's ridiculous. I really shouldn't have to learn the hard way every time, but that's what I have to do because. That means they would. If, that means they, if they did reset, that means I, I would have. Um, uh, I I feel like they should should not have reset there because it's equal amount, and the dimen the dimension boosts don't reset, but they they okay. You know what? It should be worded like this: upon a time dimension boost, your dimension boost only reset when you have more time dimension boosts than. But the problem is, I think that takes into consideration um, the 
the time dimension boost that you're getting. That's the problem. Again, it doesn't even say that. So, yeah, that's really dumb. But I just have to deal with it. And now I'm getting close to the galaxy where I essentially have to do everything over again. Again, it's just annoying to do the whole thing over again with for basically no boost. So, maybe at this point I do want to get automation going. Um, yeah, this just... This is probably better. I keep I keep underestimating animation. Actually, no, I'm overestimating it because I just did an I just did a, a time dimension boost that I didn't want to do. So now everything got reset again. So, hooray! The weirdest thing is that it time dimension boosted despite having galaxies required to always time dimension boost at two. I had zero galaxies. That's a bug. Wait, no, it's not a bug, because this is max 8th season and reset is 18, and this is, isn't even like 8th time dimension, so I, I really do want to prioritize. I wish I could just... Okay, I, I have it disabled, but it's just so annoying. I wish I wish at this point um, I can just have time dimension boost not reset my dimension boost, especially like this. This is the worst part. I mean, when you're later in the infinity, it doesn't matter as much. Considering you can just get your dimension boost back quick, but like this, every time you just do a time dimension boost, it costs you like two to three minutes, and it's two to three minutes you'll never get back. So it's actually really annoying. I I'm actually pretty angry. I I, I don't know what I'm angry at, but it's probably just myself and just now I have to do all of this over again. I I really. I mean, I guess it's okay beforehand, before Infinity, but after Infinity, it's just like, oh, uh, really? Do I have to do this again? Especially, like, I don't know. I feel like I've just done this so many times, right? Because I've done the New Game Minus 2, New Game Minus 3, and now I'm doing it in New Game Minus 4. And, again, I think this exact, like, achievement, and actually, no, this exact achievement reward is not in, in the other... Um, New Game Minus X mods because, well, this uses time dimension boosts, but I know there's like this one, which is in New Game Minus 3, and this one actually can be a little bit, it's actually, it's, I don't, I'm not sure if that's really, I mean, it can be devastating if you're late in an infinity, where essentially, um, like you get the time dimension boost, and you, not time dimension boost, you get a tick speed boost that makes you lose your um, dementia boost that you spent an hour pushing towards. So, that's really frustrating. But anyway, we're finally getting close to this galaxy. Oh my god, this took... I should already have my next galaxy point by now. If I wasn't so stupid as to time dimension shift at the wrong times. Okay, here it is, galaxy. And it didn't even galaxy, I got a dimension boost instead. So now I have to do the whole thing again. Yeah, this is why I shouldn't have automation going. I really just... I, I don't need to just have it automation going at this point. It's only good if I'm trying to grind galaxy points. Like, it's not even good when you're trying to just push. I mean, when I'm saying grind galaxy points, I mean, like, this is like doing it once you're... Once you have a lot more of these upgrades, because... Like, the same stuff happens, but instead of costing 1 to 2 minutes, it costs 1 to 2 seconds. So... Um, yeah, here we go. Finally, here is the galaxy. And I now know get four dimension boosts and then get the time dimension boost. That's when I do it. Seriously, it shouldn't be so hard. And also, early in the runs, the automation is just terrible as well. And also, another note about, like, it costing one to two minutes here versus one to two seconds, like, later on. And, like, later on, you're, you're like, completely AFK, but here, it's like fast enough that you're like totally act, you're fully active trying to get each and every upgrade. Like I, th I think once I get the next upgrade, it's gonna go a lot faster to get the next um, upgrade here, and that will. Unfortunately, after that, I need to get five galaxy points, but five galaxy points isn't too bad. After that, I get this upgrade and this upgrade, and that'll really start. Um, allowing me to push a lot farther and then I'll get this one which will allow me to get more galaxy points once I get the 20 galaxy 
point upgrades, then you then it's sort of the usual inflation, except you get minus four wasn't I don't remember it being quite as extreme as in New Game minus two and minus three. So I mean honestly it's more balanced that way. And I think once I get the upgrades, I think I should be really good. Just because I, I, I really think the infinity upgrade here is helping a lot. Especially, I mean, I mean, I think later on it's gonna be less important, but early on in the Infinity, it's gonna be a lot better. And I, and later on, I'll get the the achievements that I need. And it's really just many deaths. I I need that one. Like actually, if I'd gotten it pre Infinity, I would be able to just um be at one Galaxy point, and then I could just get the Galaxy points one every one hundred seconds, which would be less than two minutes and this run has probably taken at least 10 minutes so you just see how much better it would be especially if i was just like at the one galaxy point for if i was just afk for a full day that would allow me to get something like 80 galaxy points like which is it's crazy i'm not even doing anything and i'm not and i would have enough upgrades to have enough galaxy points to get all of these upgrades and maybe even that one so, just you can see how powerful that achievement might be. And it may allow me to even get, like, that's fast, perhaps. Which is another huge reward. It's one of the most important rewards. And here's the galaxy point. Finally. You can get this. Now things are going to get a lot faster. Okay, maybe I should just hold M down. It's probably faster if I hold M down than rather just letting the the auto buyers do it but yeah I can just see how much faster this is now because I have both of the galaxy upgrades that that makes a huge difference so yeah I'm gonna I'm not even sure if I want the time dimension shifts for the first galaxy because at this point it's pretty easy to push from E13 to E30 antimatter once I um I get to E13 but it's a, a little tricky to get all the way up to E13 like, as you can see here, like, actually, you'll, you'll see in the next dimension shift run after this. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to count how much time it takes to get from, um, get from 0 to E13 antimatter and E13 to E30. So, here we go. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, so 10 seconds, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 10 seconds versus 13 seconds, but if you count for like the order of magnitude, it's, it's almost e equal. And it would not be worth like the shaving off, I, I don't think it'd be worth adding 10 seconds to, I, I, I really don't think that time dimension shift would shave off 10 seconds off the 23 second run. It'll probably shave off like 3 seconds, not 10. I mean, of course, the second, once I do have the galaxy, I do want to get the time dimension shift because that allows me to get a galaxy point. But first galaxy, it is not the best idea to do that. So, I think what, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get this upgrade and with that upgrade I'm gonna be able to um, push a lot farther like you can already see how far I can I can push here it's pretty easy to get to the one galaxy point and I could I can easily reach um, 20 eighth dimensions so here, here we go the next upgrade also especially if I have it like AFK for a long time, that could be really important. So what I'm actually gonna do is I will turn on the dimension boost auto, auto buyer, but not the time dimension boost one, because I mean maybe I should even do that if I'm AFKing for a long time. Honestly, if I'm if I'm AFKing for hours, then yes, it is probably the best idea to do the automatic time dimension boost, despite it resetting the dimension boosts. I mean, maybe not. I'm, 
I'm sort of debating because if I get if I'm able to push far up to like 30 or 40 eighth dimensions and then I just get a random time dimension shift that resets that except it does boost that so I, I will do um, time automatic time dimension shifts here despite it resetting the dimension shifts and boost I think if I'm AFKing for hours it's the best idea so yeah I'm just gonna see how far I can get hopefully this automation will push me to at least five galaxy points by the next time I I record here I mean I, I think I think that's actually given but like by a few hours hopefully so yeah hope you enjoyed peace out mm -hmm.